Hello everyone and welcome to the first ever Valorant quiz. There's already a video out there on YouTube with a similar concept except it's for Rocket League and not Valorant and I thought it was a really good idea and it'd be incredibly helpful for you guys so I decided to make one just for you. So welcome to the Zeus experience. Now this is how it's going to work. Once the options are shown on screen you're going to have three seconds to decide. Keep in mind that if this was a real game you'd have way less than three seconds to decide. Every single situation is going to be from a pro gameplay phase versus TSM. Since pro are like a lot more consistent when it comes to gameplay and we already know they're going to be communicating and call outs are given makes it a lot easier to have like the proper right and wrong answer which allows me to be confident that these are the correct answers but feel free to discuss anything that you feel might be different in the comments below now this quiz is completely free all i ask in return is for you to obliterate the subscribe button and like this video now one more thing i gave a bunch of choices clearly but one of them is clearly the best one so just pick whichever one seems better than the others now let's get to the first one i'll start the round out and we'll just let it play out and i'll pause when it's quiz time but for this one we're going to start off as an example just watch closely after so you don't miss any important details example number one take a look at the economy of all the players here the agents and the map layout should cypher a sell his phantom and buy an operator b drop his teammate a specter or c get his teammate a rifle the correct answer is C. The other team is going to be fully bought, so his Spectre is going to be inferior. He can't sell this Phantom since he picked it up from the last round. And if he buys an Operator, the other people on his team will not be able to afford because he's the only one who's able to drop the other players. The other players have Spectres and a Bulldog. They should probably full buy because the other team is going to full buy as well. Maybe I just think it's how the map works. It's just entirely different to the other three maps. I think it is, it's just it's it's weird, but. Uh, what isn't weird is seeing what you see at the top right of your screen. Wardell getting a first blood. Question number two. So Omen here gets smoked off. Should he A, fall back and get help? B, push through the smoke and try to get the kill? Or C, use a paranoia first, then push through? The correct answer is B. So he knows nobody is on the left because the smoke just popped right in front of him. And if he doesn't get the trade that... Uh, the team, he already killed one of his teammates, so if he doesn't get this trade right here, the team is going to be at a numbers disadvantage. So the best bet is to push through this and get the kill. No surprise there. Sabrosa, though, looking the challenge. Still has his paranoia available to him. He's going to win out that fight there against Zachary. Now, now for FaZe as TSM are trying to reap the benefits of this one. Drone, a familiar territory for him, gets two kills. A site completely exposed. They're going to do their due diligence, though, and get more intel inside a site. But I believe that they're going to be clear as day. Of course, we know that. They don't. The plant will come, and it is going to be a tall task here for your f So right here, you can see Cypher. He sees a Sova arrow. For number three, should he A, shoot this arrow, B, crouch behind the box, or C, throw a cage up? Cypher should crouch and hide behind this box and just let his teammates know. Keep in mind, these are pro players that are 100% communicating. If he shoots this, he's going to be marked. So you can see the white outline right here. This means even if he shoots it, this is still going to hit him and he will be marked. So the best bet is to hide behind this box, avoid this marked thing that marks him, and just not, you know, get screwed over and give out his position. So let's see how that plays out. Players here from FaZe Clan. You got Psalm on one end trying to push around. The omen creeping up in the background there might actually get killed by another creeping omen. And this is basically going to be a tied up game here. So right here we see Phoenix is about to get hit with his paranoia. Should he A, pull out his gun and start spraying, B, throw his flash, or C, push to the box in front of him and hide behind it? The correct answer is B. He should throw his flash and then he could take cover after. Omen only has one paranoia while Phoenix has two flashes. So the flash counters the paranoia by making them blind. So nobody can push while he falls back to safety and recovers from that paranoia. So let's see how that works here. He likes to push onto this side, Alex. Yep, he sure does. Paranoia is going to stop that push. Anyway, though, as all that was going on, I'm going to actually force Psalm back. Zachary's going to be playing the angle for the commitment so if anyone tries to get inside of sight should be able to punish 50 seconds on the clock plenty of time left for this team to work with as some slow rotations start to come out there you got so here cypher sees that same sova arrow should he a hide behind the green box that he hit at last time b cypher cage up to block that arrow or c shoot that arrow 
The correct answer is C. He doesn't have time to go to the box and hide, and the cage would take too long to set up, and it could actually be a waste of the cage. The correct answer is C, which is basically just shooting the arrow, right? Unfortunately, here he misses his first shot, which would have, you know, broke it and not allowed him to be not allowed him to be marked, but he misses it, which gets him marked and eventually killed. So let's watch that play out. Or he's just playing the back sight. I spawn, and now they're going to be inside, or at least thinking about coming inside of the A site. Cyber Cage was activated there just for a moment. Got a few frags coming in on both sides of the field here. Focus is going to be on the A site. There goes the drone strike, or excuse me, the orbital strike. Doesn't really catch anyone, but it is going to just slow some things down. Marv, who has actually been a big difference maker for this team. We put a lot of focus on, on Corey because of the, the stature of player that he is. But in this series so far, I mean, Marv and, and Def have just been so instrumental uh, in so many rounds for this team. This player too, Corey, uh, or sorry, Zachary, I've actually been very impressed with him in this particular game. Didn't know what to expect from him on the Omen. Here, Omen is caught in this situation. He's under the Brimstone ult. Should he A, shoot that Brimstone in front of him, B, run out of the ult, or C, teleport out and stay safe? The correct answer is actually A. So he, you can see he's at 65 HP and he has 7 bullets, but his crosshair is basically on that brimstone. So all he has to do is shoot like a couple of times. If he misses, oh well, he could literally take one step to the right and he'll be safe. But the advantage to that is, is he could literally get one more kill. It's a 2v2 situation. So that would save him a ton. So let's see what he does here. And so far, it has certainly been good and he got value out of it. Even when the threat of the orbital strike was coming down, Zachary gets the kill, ending the run. Gonna go to the common spot, actually identifies two players that were gonna be there. Marv met him with the snipe. Paranoia is gonna be out. Marv gets two kills for his efforts inside of there, and then Sub Rosa challenges him right through the dark cover. Will yank away that op here. We'll look to put it to good use. They are gonna be a 3v4 in favor of TSM. Here comes a Hunter's Fury from some, and that was just an ambitious Hunter's, Hunter's Fury that got a big kill. And now, 2v2. Zachary on top of heaven. So right here, Sova sees two of them with an AWP. Right now, he could decide between killing both of them. Which should he kill first? The correct answer is Omen. The reason you should kill Omen is Omen has his gun out and Sova is actually tighter to the right wall. That allows this guy that has his op to not only kill the guy with his gun out, but allows him better cover after he gets the kill because of the, the animation time in between kills, right? So after this kill, he has time to kind of hide against the wall while Sova tries to pull his gun out and Sova doesn't even have his gun out in the first place, which is just a huge advantage in killing the Omen first. So let's see if that's what he does. Cordell's gonna get the intel, finds one, maybe a second one too, goodbye. And that is gonna be the way you close that bad boy out. All right, congrats, you guys finished the quiz. Remember to leave your score in the comments and see how well you did. Also, please feel free to hit the subscribe button and like this video because each like and subscribe gets me one step closer to being able to get monetized and start making videos full time. If you'd like private coaching from me, I started a Fiverr gig, which I'll leave linked in the description below. Thanks again for watching and peace out. Hey, subscribe.